Hello everyone and welcome to part 2 of this video. Uh, this one we're going to be fitting the, uh, the rest of the RCBOs into the board and doing the, uh, doing the testing. And then we're going to be in the loft planning out how we're going to uh, relay some of the cabling. Um, some of it needs to be redone um, and we're going to be fitting new lights and rewiring a couple of other lights that weren't wired uh, correctly. So you'll see the planning stages of that as well. Okay. And uh, then hopefully in part 3 you'll get to see the lights being fitted and the under cupboard lights as well. Anyway, let's get on with this video, so enjoy. <coughs> okay, so today boys and girls, we are replacing a couple of MCBs with some RCBOs. Now I've done these at the beginning of the year. That's for the cooker and the hob. Um, so this is an ongoing job re revitalising this uh, uh, consumer board. So we're going to put in an RCBO for the ring final that we've done in the kitchen, which you saw earlier on, and there's all going to be an RCBO for the kitchen lighting circuits, which is the one that's currently off. Um, yeah. <clears throat> now the actual installation isn't actually in that bad a state. I did um, a check on this, so I'd say right, right back at the beginning of the year. The only issue I've got at the moment is, is right down the back there, is an RCD socket. Now that could interfere with the RCBO I'm about to put in, because it's actually hooked off the ring, that one. Um, so we may, I might have to dis disconnect that one for the time being. Um, I might have to work, try and work that one out, but uh, we'll work that out later. Um, anyway, so that's what we're doing this morning. So we'll do an RCBO on there, RCBO on there, and I'll show you how they test. One thing, I've got a, a call out to find out how you do an RCBO test on a lighting circuit, because you can't actually plug the tester into anything. So I'm just going to try and work out how you do that. But once I find out, I'll show you how we do it. Okay, <coughs> so here we are with the cover off. Now, as you see, we don't actually have a lot of room to work with in here. Um, but as you can see, so the RC, these RCBOs have the line, the neutral, the line of the neutral, and then they have their fly lead into here. They don't have the white fly lead like the old big RCDs, by the way. Um, let's turn that off. Here we don't need that one. That's better. Uh, so as you can see, we've got this, we've got mixed wiring in here, which is hence the reason for the labels. So we've got all this black wiring, which I'm going to have to manoeuvre around. You can see on this, the ring final, it's got three cables. That one, one of those cables is heading off to that garage socket that I said um, is an RCD socket. And I'm really concerned that could interfere with the function of this um, RCBO. Um... I seem to recall when I did the RCD test on that, because it's the only RCD here, it didn't work. So, I'm not sure, until I do it, I'm not sure. Um, now, as we can see, on the lighting circuits, we've got two into that one, you know, two into that one. This is the one, we, that's the kitchen, which is the one we're going to re replace. So we're replacing that one, and we're replacing this one, that's the immersion heater, we're not worried about that. This is the other lighting circuit, so there's four lighting circuits actually in this house. Um, two there and two there, so these are the two we're going to play with today. And we're just doing that as well. This is the one I'm going to do first. Um, I've tested it's all dead. I'm not going to lock it off because I'm the only one here. The actual owner's now gone uh, for a couple of hours while I'm doing this. So I'm the only one here, so I'm not going to lock it off. Because um, no one's going to be here to turn it back on again, except me. Um, anyway, just very quickly, as you can see, I've actually managed to identify some of the cables running up there. As I say, it isn't actually in a bad state. Um, I'm not overly concerned with the state of the wiring in this property. It's quite an old property, it's a bungalow. Um, but obviously I'm really tight on space in, in this board, as you can see. How I'm going to dress this nicely, I'll be honest, I'm not sure. Um, 
I really don't have a lot to work with in there. Anyway, we'll see what we can do. <coughs> ah, yes, I remember now. I thought this thing, ha it does have slots for spare, for spare ways. But as you can see, the bus bar isn't long enough. So I couldn't put more circuit breakers on there, even if I'd wanted to. Um, anyway, there's no um, isolator switch, so we couldn't do much with that anyway. By the way, it's a TNS system, people. Anyway, let's get this, let's get this job done, and then we can, uh, we can get on with what we're doing upstairs. Right, as you can see, we really, really don't have a lot to work with in here. I would love to just strip this and redo it from scratch, but I can't because I can't isolate the power, not without taking the fuse out, which I'm not allowed to do. <coughs> so I'm going to have to work with what I've got. So apologies for all those out there who are going to say this is a mess. Well, it's going to have to be for the time being, I'm afraid. It's a really tiny box. I'm trying my best to try and sort it out, but realistically, it needs to be totally taken apart and put back together again okay right so we've got those two rcbo's they're in I've made a pretty good job of that bit there and along there but as you can see that the mess behind is i just can't do anything about that unfortunately so i'll just try and make good as i can make it try and make it at least as neat as possible as i can um I'd love to do that better than that, really. <coughs> OK, so we're all wired up, as you can see. But I will tidy up a little bit before I put the cover back on. So we've got the power on now. Um, I've got the power on to the RCD for the ring final. The two to the right of it are for the hob and the cooker, which I've disconnected, so I'm not leaving those off. The immersion heat is off. Uh, the lighting circuit one is off and the other lighting circuit is currently off. So we're going to go indoors and we're going to test this RCD. So let's go and hook it up. Actually, no we're not. I'm going to put the cover on. Um, because I'm going to leave this unattended now. So, yeah, I'm going to put the cover back on and then we'll do the RCD tests. So, here we are. We'll just get it all connected up. So my test kit. So we've got the tester in the live settings on here. We've got line CPC and neutral in the li um, live test settings. So we're going to set this to 30 milliamp auto. Just about to see that. And set the test button going. Oh, well, yeah, helps if I turn the power. Wouldn't work otherwise. <laughs> It's saying 247 volt, 248 volts, so we know it's working. So, so off we go with the tests. Pass on the first one, half. Pass on the second. Seven point six on that. So. Oh, no. I'll just, just, just shut it all off. Do you want to copy again? Do you want sugar in that or...? No, that's fine. Right. That'd be right. Thank you. Shall I leave it here for you? Yeah, thanks a lot. Are you working out here or are you, are you inside? I'm um, in and out at the moment because oh. I'm doing, doing the RCD tests. Oh, Alright, so you've got... I'm just got doing this now. In, yeah? yeah, so I'm just some flicking on and off now. Should do it a couple of times. So you're making notes this year. So if I go to that, it should be pass, pass, 7.6, So what's, what, what's that? 16, 10.8, and 15.6. <coughs> okay, how to test an RCBO on a lighting circuit. So, what I've got here, I've got the QTEC um, lighting adapters. So that's a bayonet one that's in there at the moment. So, as you can see, we've got the line, the neutral, into that. And you can see the earth is crop clipped to the earth bar at the pendant. Um, now, QTEC do 
lots of adapters um, that are GU10s and E27s and so on so you should be able to find one that will fit um, so what we have here is we've got that all connected up there it is live I'll just bring this down here you can see there it is live <coughs> this isn't the, this is the only way that I know of to do it um, obviously you take, you've got to take great care in doing this because obviously that is now live that However, it does work, so as I say, we've got all those leads on that are connected into the, the line CPC and neutral on the, on the tester. And you can see we've got a voltage, 249 volts. So I'll press the well, 30 milliamp auto, so let's start the test. And we've passed. Don't forget this is on our new RCBO that we've connected into the lighting circuit. Passed again. Go to the next one. There we go, 7.6. So it's going to sit by the consumer unit. So here we are, kitchen lights. Let's turn it back on. Second, another test done. Do it again. Another one, do it again. Yeah, and whoops, there we go, and again. I think that's the last one. Let's go back to the board. Hopefully, you should get some nice figures. Let's see what we've got. So we should have, whoops, 2 2000, 2000, 7.6, 18.4, 7.6 and 18, all passed. Just as I this is the, the lighting kit that you can get from QTEC. So as you can see we've got screw versions, bayonet versions, a GU10 version. And upside down, hang on, let's say one of those. So, so they've oh, another one, another bayonet one. So, you've got two bayonet ones in the kit, two screw fittings, and a GU10. Um, the only thing is, some of them are labeled mine and neutral, some of them are. You'll know when you get it around the one way because the tester won't work. Anyway, so that's that. So that has come really handy to do the RCD test, and it'll probably come in handy when I have to do the R1, R2 test when I've cabled up the rest of these lights. Okay. Where are we? So, three lights to do this one, one there, you about to see it, and there's one over there. And the pendant light is somewhere around here. So we've got the lines coming up here. So I'm going to disconnect the pendant light, pull out the wiring. Uh, I think that's the best thing to do with that. These three are going to be independently switched. So we'll get that wiring out. And then I'll use the quick connects, I think. Yeah, I don't think I'll daisy chain these together. I think I'll do it through the quick connect, I think. Um, and mount it, mount it somewhere in this, somewhere around here. The other lights are down there. Um, yeah, so the switch line should be here and the mains line should be here. So if we put the quick connect in, uh, power line in, switch line in from the switch, and then there should be two load lines coming out. We can use one load to another quick connect which would have three out which would be the three that we can connect to these three lights um, that'll keep the runs nice and short and hopefully quite tidy so we'll do these three disconnect, get, get rid of that pendant light um, 
connect all these dot up then back to that size 2 redo the junction box on that run the cable out to the cabinet lights drop that cable down, drop a 1.5mm cable onto the top of the cabinets for the cabinet lights which will do yeah I think that'll work I think that'll work <laughs> 